art friends. Today we are going to draw a jellyfish and we are going to save this for when we blacklight paint in school. Um, if you are at home, then you are going to either color or paint this in when you are done. So we are going to start with a blank sheet of paper. I'm going to be using a pencil so that I can erase any mistakes that I have. And you should be able to see my pencil. First, we are going to put our name and class code on the back. You need to do this step because I will be collecting these. And then flip it over. Now, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using the letter J to make a jellyfish. And in my other picture, I had three. So don't make it too big, but don't make it too small. Okay, you wanna make it just right. So I'm gonna start by making the first jellyfish on the left side. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna make a horizontal line, and I'm going to make the letter J, because J is for jellyfish. So I'm gonna take that line and curve it around and make an uppercase letter J. Give me a thumb up when you have your uppercase letter J. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to make a big rainbow line. So I go up and all the way back down for the top of the jellyfish. So rainbow line up and all the way back down. It's okay if it's not perfect. Jellyfish um, heads are not perfect, they're always moving. So give me a thumb up when you have that rainbow line. Next we're going to trace the letter J again, and then we're going to end it at the first line. So I'm gonna go down next to that letter J. Now those are two parallel lines. I'm gonna go around the corner. And then I'm going to attach with a little rainbow line. So that's his first jelly tentacle. Now I just turned my letter J into a jellyfish. So now I'm just gonna create some more tentacles. Now you can go any direction you want to, but when you make a wavy line, you're gonna have to follow it with that same wavy line. So let's start with the first one. I'm gonna make the next one next to it and make a wavy line. And this wavy line is gonna stop at that J turn. It's gonna jump and then it's gonna keep going just a little bit more. Then when I go to then add the rest of the tentacle here, I'm gonna make a curve line and I'm gonna follow the exact curve that that line makes. See how I'm doing that? I'm just kind of copying that line. And then when I get to the end, I make a little curved line and finish it. Don't make these tentacles too small because you're gonna have to paint inside of them too. So I'm gonna do another one. Maybe that's not as much of a wavy line. I copy the one next to it. Maybe this time the tentacle goes that way. Completely up to you. You decide where you want those to go. And then I can make some more. Maybe this time they go that way. I want you to keep working on your little tentacles for your jellyfish. Some of them go behind the jellyfish, and that's okay. Now that my jellyfish his tentacles are all done. I'm gonna wait for all my students to let me know that they're done. I'm gonna do a couple more while I'm waiting. 
I'm gonna finish my jellyfish with a smiley face. You don't have to add the smiley face if you don't want to, but I'm gonna make big circles, like a big oval on one side, a big oval on the other side, and then I can make his little eyes on the inside. And a smiley face. He's a happy jellyfish. Now we're ready for the next jellyfish. Now if you have room for one more, that's fine. If you have room for a lot of little ones, make a lot of little ones. But I'm gonna make my next one up here. I'm gonna start with the horizontal line and then the letter J. So J for jellyfish. I'm gonna copy that line next to it. Oop, I forgot to do the top too, I skipped ahead. So I do that and then I can also make the rainbow line on the top. It kinda looks like an umbrella right now. All right, and then I can make more tentacles going down. make as many as you want. And his smiley face. This time I'm gonna make this jellyfish look at the other jellyfish. And you don't have to make your jellyfish go straight up. Maybe he's coming at an angle. Maybe he's, a, he's like going this way. So I can make a Letter J again. Maybe this one's a little bit smaller of a jellyfish. Rainbow line on the top. Copy the bottom letter J. Make a curved line to connect it. And then I'm going to make some that go behind that letter J so it looks like a natural tentacle. and give him a face. We can add some bubbles. So you can do some bubbles going up. So you make some little bubbles, some big bubbles using some circles. Can make those all around our jellies. I can do something on the bottom because I have a lot of room here. Maybe I want to make the ocean floor. I can make some seaweed, just like how I made those curvy lines. Make a curvy line going up. And then I make a curved line, copying it back down. And I can make a bunch of those for the seaweed at the bottom of the ocean floor. Maybe you have some rocks on the bottom of the ocean floor. Maybe there's some sand. I can make wavy lines. We've got a lot of wavy lines here on the ocean. Maybe I can make some sand at the bottom. I can even make some dots for the sand. Okay, so those are some things that you can do after you're done with your jellyfish. Now that I did everything in a pencil, now I can trace everything in Sharpie. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because next week we are going to be painting it. If you are at home, you can color it in today and upload it 
to canvas so I can see your awesome jellyfish. When you are all done, close up your marker cap. Um, we are done with our jellyfish, and if you want to make a second one, you can make another one. We might even use the art hub for kids' videos to make some other really fun sea creatures that we can use to paint. This is coming out awesome, and if you are at home, you can follow along by coloring it in. I'm gonna color that in for my students at home. But if you are at school, you are going to paint it next week. 
All right, I'm so happy that how this turned out. Our J for jellyfish really turned out awesome. All right, students at home. This is the one we're going to color together. So make sure that you get all of your pencil line all cleaned up. So I'm just going around and I'm erasing some of that pencil line. Cleaning it up a bit, getting it ready to get colored. So I don't want any of that. I also did some fun like sun lines and you can do some of that too. All right, so I have my markers and jellyfish can really be any color that you want. You can make your jellyfish purple. I'm gonna be using crayon and marker. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with my first jellyfish. I'm going to trace the outside line of the jellyfish because I'm going to color the rest in with a crayon. So I'm going to use markers and crayons. And then I'm going to trace all of the tentacle. Actually, I might just color in. The tentacle is so small. I'm just going to color them in. Remember, if I pulled my marker um, to the side, it colors it in much quicker. If I like pulled it out of the ink. can take my purple crayon and then color in the rest of the jellyfish. If you have any highlighters at home, you can use a highlighter to color in your jellyfish. It's kind of like the fluorescent paint that we're going to use for our project. But if you don't have that, that's okay. I'm just going to use my regular crayon. Might even color in his eye because he's a jump. I like to make the outside of the circles a little bit darker. So it kind of looks like there's a shadow. It makes it look like a real eye. All right, then we're gonna move on to some different colors. Let's try the next one. Let's make this one pink. Jellyfish are all different colors. And some jellyfish really do light up in the ocean floor. Pretty cool stuff. I believe they have some still at the Florida Aquarium. They're really cool. Okay, there's my pink jellyfish and I can get my pink crayon. Let's see, what color should my last one be? I want it to be a bright color. If I had a bright blue, I would use my bright blue, but I have actually have a light purple. I'll use the light blue. Oh no, it's the same color. That's okay. We'll have two purple dots.
Alright, I'm gonna trace the lines for the bubbles and then I'm gonna color them in with my blue. If you are at home, you can actually paint the background if you had paint. Um, I'm gonna lightly color it with the blue. I'm not gonna completely color it. Then I can do some green for the coral, uh, sorry, the seaweed. I can also, if I have yellow, I can also add some yellow in there next to the seaweed. Cool. See, that looks really cool. I can make the rocks and the sand on the floor. This yellow is actually a really bright yellow. Probably with glow. Can get some brown. To get super fun and creative. Maybe what's on your ocean floor? Maybe there's more than just rocks on the floor. Maybe there's some starfish. Maybe there's some other animals and other creatures on the ocean floor. Okay, now I'm going to get my crayon, because crayon covers, this actually is a blue-green, which is perfect for the ocean. It'll cover a lot of ground. And how I have these beautiful lights over here, I can actually get a little bit of yellow and color in the light, make it look like um, the light shining from the sky. And then I can go and color in the rest of my ocean. Now, what I'm doing with my crayon is my crayon is on an angle, just like my markers. And look how quickly I can cover all that ground. And I'm not coloring it completely. I'm actually coloring right on top of my purple because it just really doesn't show it very well. It's a really quick and easy way to color and cover some space just by coloring at an angle. I'm just going to be careful over by the sand because I don't want to cover the sand. But I can color right on top of the tentacles. Because you can't really see it if I'm coloring at an angle. But you can definitely tell my crayon is definitely flattening out because I'm using a lot of it. But look at that. Look how much... And you can't really see it until my camera focuses. But um, it looks much more blue. My camera is not doing any good justice for it. But be careful with my pink because I don't want to cover the pink. But that is a quick and easy way. And I like to actually, with this, I like to get a little bit darker on the corners. Personally. And what that does is it gives it a nice little frame with the crayon. That's just one way I like to color with crayon. But you can color whatever you want to. Definitely want to get some of that blue in there. The background to show that he's in the ocean. I'm going to get the corners again. I just color extra on that area. And you can tell it gets a little bit darker. Yeah. done. Maybe you want to color, cover, color in some of those bubbles a little bit more. Make them look like bubbles. Ah, very, very cool. I love the way this beautiful jellyfish family turned out, and I cannot wait to see what you post on Canvas.